Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, and if you are part of Crafty Fun with Friends on Facebook, then you know that I've been doing a little bit of shopping. <laughs> I posted in the group that for everyone who is on a low buy or a no buy to not worry because I've been buying a little bit extra the last couple of weeks, so all is in balance. And so this order, is from craft stash they got me twice craft stash oh they know what they're doing they've got some fabulous designers there um and the first order which i have here to show is um some latest and some old releases by helen griffin who is uh simply made crafts and i've anytime i order from craft stash if if i'm low on 3d glue gel <laughs> then i always take uh the opportunity to pick up some extras the 3d glue gel um that you see me use so often in little syringes like these um it's from craft stash i mainly order it from craft stash because they have the best price on it and um it's it looks like this you can get it as a kit like like i have here and this was a little bit squished so hopefully it still has everything i don't i think it's missing i'll have to check my bag um but the kit comes with um let's see if this one has it the kit comes with the tube of glue a uh, syringe which you can refill time and time again if you need and probably somewhere in my um in the packaging is the cap to the syringe and uh this handy th you know you might have something like this for your toothpaste it just helps you t if you put it on the end here it just helps you roll and crimp the end so that you can squeeze everything out um if you already have syringes or you like to buy you can buy these syringes also on amazon that's what i've done and you can get those um, at a good price. Uh, then you can fill like a lot of the syringes at the same time. I always have probably like a handful or so um, at any given time. And so uh, you do want to make sure that uh, that you have syringes that have a cap on them because it, it will dry out otherwise. So that is my 3D um, glue gel. If um, if you wanted, I guess, I don't know why I only have the one of these, but this can um, be screwed onto here if you want to actually use it directly from the tube. So that's an option too. Uh, this would need to be clipped and of course uh, you need to pierce the tube to when you're ready to start using it. Um, but don't do it too early because because uh, it'll glue uh, it will dry out I mean there are things that you can do to help preserve it but I use it fast enough where I don't have to worry too much about um, too much of it drying out so that's my 3d glue gel and I forgot to mention I've been keeping trying to remember to say it but you can get the glue by itself um, and not with all the extra syringes if you want and I think there's also a version that is um I think there's a version that is archival safe as well and so you can get that as an alternative now this is what my order was really about and um included if you got the bundle one of the new release bundle by uh simply made crafts they included um you could pick from a variety of different colors of course i picked teal this is their fabric paper uh which goes by a lot of different names a lot of different people make it craft text i think it was one of the sort of name brands of it um Sizzix has their texture roll it's all pretty much the same thing a very durable uh, man-made paper leather so to speak um, and the reason why they call it that is because oftentimes the tag that's on the back of your jeans um, it's it's this stuff it, so it's that durable you can send it through the washing machine and it's it 
will hold up just fine. And um, Helen actually does. She likes to crumple hers up, uh, give it a wash, <laughs> and it has some really lovely texture as a result, which makes it like that worn leather look, which is really great. So that's what this is. And the back of it is sort of a craft color and then I guess it's just been treated or dyed uh, to different colors. So now they have different colors. It used to be just uh, craft, uh, creative craft products, which is craft stash, craft stashes actual brand. I think they only had it in craft color before, but now they've released um, some new colors. And Sizzix, I think, used to have anyways... Um, a variety of colors like some really nice pastels and whatnot these days i'm not sure what all they have in their line it might just be their basic white and black and craft text i know has a lot of your basic colors very neutral earth tone colors so from previous release i got um this bundle was on like super clearance and part of the reason why is because uh helen kind of re rejiggered her different um size albums so she's got a small medium large album uh die set and in the past you could get the album die set that would create your basic pocket pages and pockets and different um uh, I guess accessory items to decorate your pages with. This one happened to have like a waterfall mechanism. That's what this one is. And then separate to that, you would buy the binding and the spine uh, set. And all of her albums have been revamped, as I mentioned, where now instead of having a different set that you have to buy, um everything's together so that means you get like a little bit less of the extra kind of accessories or whatnot and the actual spine for your pages and the binding for your pages is included in with the newer sets so this is called the portrait album die set which is the older version but same size as what is now called the small album and I think they're trying to kind of clear out all of these older sets. And so I got this bundle for super great price uh, because it has the uh, portrait album editions, which are even more po pockets, accessories, um, different things that you can decorate your pages with. And it comes with the base die set as well. So that gives you the, your pocket pages, um, mats and layers and whatnot. And bundled included is the um, binding spine uh, and spine die set. So that is a previous release. It's um, I think now that they're really trying to clear it out, you're not going to see these come back. So because instead there's the small album die set, which is a simplified um, page base with all mats and layers and accessories and included in that set is your um, dies for the spine. So I picked that one up because it was a fabulous price and because it actually goes with this new release which I am super intrigued by. I think this is really really cool and when I saw it even though I have a way to do disc bound albums <laughs> myself I think the cover is pretty neato. Um, so the spine here has these slots and that's what your discs would slot through so that you have a cover for your disc bound albums which or notebooks, which I think is really, really cool. So this set helps you to create the cover and kind of a sleeve um to set your disc bound notebook or album into so this one's called the disc bound album cover die set i very rarely buy anything that is a new release but uh when i saw this i knew i i knew i wanted it so i did get it and um and i'm excited to to craft with it so in this bundle there were a lot of different kind of configurations for um for this set and I picked up the configuration that came with the um, 
this, which you need to convert your standard pocket pages into disk bound pages. So this basically, like I have the punch uh, that will let you do this. I have the cinch for it. Um, and I have a We Are Memory Keepers, um, their disk bound punch uh, for, I think it's like one of their little punch boards. I have got, I've got that too. So I've got a, a couple different options for how to create this. But what's nice is that these have been sized to go with their small and the medium and the large album, which I don't have that die set. Um, but if I did, I would have everything that I need to, um, to convert that into a disc bound album as well. So that is the album disc binding set. And this particular bundle did come included with the medium size album. So this is the configuration that the um, her new album sets are now being offered in. So you have your page base and a matte layer. You have the spine, the binding, you know, to go with it. And then you've got some pockets and some accessories. So these days, instead of picking up two different sets to to get your binding and to get your page bases, it's all kind of included, which means, like I mentioned, um, you know, there's slightly fewer of these extras in order to accommodate for having the spine pieces. And so the medium album is the new version of what used to be called the MIDI album. In case anyone is a long time fan, and if you already have the portrait album, like I just picked up here, or the MIDI album, the new disc um, binding set will work with those. And what's nice is that they have um, this is this is so cleverly designed. So well on Helen because. Basically, these three dies will fit for your album's uh, small, medium, and large landscape and portrait. So it's really, really fabulous because um, it's so versatile. So she has designed, um, and what that means actually is that uh, for disc bound album, it means you can kind of mix and match things a, a little bit. So. Take, for instance, your small album. The height of the small album, I believe, is the same height as your medium album. It's just, it's not as wide as your medium album. So this middle die here, you can use on your portrait small and your um, portrait medium size album. The small one here, you can use your small album in the landscape orientation and it will work for that. So you can, you've got your landscape and your portrait options built in. And what's great is that um, because this is the same height as your medium, you could put small pages, you know, in your medium just to mix things up a little bit because it's disc bound. So you can, you know, uh, fit it in and uh, intersperse it throughout your album if you want for just different flips and flaps and, and options. So I think that's really cool. And then similarly with the large, I think this will fit your large in the portrait. Um, and then it will fit, I think it will fit your large uh, this medium one will fit your large in the landscape format, I think. So it's it's all really cool. It's it's really well designed and lots of different options for album making. I love mini albums. I have a lot of uh, Helen's dies now, and I have a couple others as well um, that are in some of her album making um, collections. And I've got a ton of Tonic Studios, um, Memory Keeper album <laughs> dies. Um, and so this I think is, is pretty fun uh, to use. And so I think, I think it's really versatile. You can basically turn anything into um, disc, a disc bound page. 
So really fun, kind of exciting. I really can't wait to, to make the cover too because I think that's something that's kind of unique and, and um, really cool about this. So that is um, the first of two craft stash orders. And so when the next one comes in, I will of course do a little haul video on that. I'll leave links to everything that I got that's still available because this is not anymore, but I'll leave links to everything that's still available in the description box below if you want to check any of that out for yourself. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. Thanks in advance if you do shop with my uh, affiliate links. It does come at no additional cost to you, but Craftstash and any other affiliates that I provide links to, uh, they offer me a little bit of a commission, and so I always appreciate your support in that way because it does help me to pursue uh, crafting as an actual job. <laughs> and so I definitely um, have a goal to do that and I appreciate everybody who uh, is helping me to meet that goal. Thank you and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.